Hi, I'm Vaughn Lucian from Corteva AgriScience. I'm territory manager for industrial vegetation, range and pasture and forestry in northern Alberta. What I want to talk to you today about is calibrating a sprayer. So we have a lot of trouble every year with uh, folks going out with uncalibrated sprayers. If we don't know what our water's put, what our water output is, uh, we don't know how much chemical to add to the tank and we don't know the rate per acre. So it's very important that we do this properly. Uh, fortunately, Corteva AgriScience has a uh, sprayer calibration calculator, one for range and pasture and one for IVM, that'll guide you through it really easy. Today what I want to show you is how to calibrate the sprayer using the uh, Corteva AgriScience sprayer calibration calculator, so we'll get to it. Within the Corteva AgriScience sprayer calibration calculator, we can, con we can configure two types of systems. One, a boom system, which has nozzles, a number of nozzles on a bar, and a uh, boomless system, which uh, we see here. Uh, within the boomless system, we can have any number of nozzles, uh, one, two, three, four, five, doesn't really matter. Um, and I'll show you how to do this. Um, within our range and pasture materials, we look at 15 to 20 US gallon water volumes. Most of the sprayers we buy from a hardware store put out six to seven. So sometimes we may need to change the nozzles and the sprayer calibrator calculator will let us know. So there's a few things we need to calibrate a sprayer, but the first thing we need is a tape measure we're going to need a five gallon bucket or some some vessel to collect the water for 30 seconds and we're going to need a measuring device some other things we'll need is we should wear some ppe so we need rubber gloves you should be wearing rubber boots and it's probably ideal if the sprayer has seen herbicide it's probably ideal to have coveralls. This sprayer hasn't received any herbicide yet, so it's brand new. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna measure the height of the nozzle to the uh, ground. This happens to be 34 inches. Uh, if you look at the nozzle specification sheets, it's gonna give you a distance where it should be from the ground. These are Boominator 1400s, so these specify it must be between 34 to 48 inches from the ground, okay? So what we're gonna do next, we're gonna fire up the sprayer and we're gonna measure the total spray width. Now, as you'll notice, this sprayer has two nozzles. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do three different calculations. We're gonna do the entire spray width, we're gonna do the right nozzle alone, and we're gonna do the left nozzle alone. Because when both nozzles, when one nozzle alone is firing, it's gonna, sp it's gonna spray a longer distance. Let it run for about, oh, 10, 20 seconds, just to, till you see a nice uh, spray pattern on the uh, gravel in this case, concrete, whatever. So now what we're gonna do, with the help of my lovely assistant, Gerald, here, is we're gonna measure from the furthest distance, and this is gonna be more than 28 feet, so I need to measure twice. So we got uh, 20 feet this way, and 20 feet on this side. So that's a total of 40 feet. Now, what we have to do before we put it into the calculator is 15% of that spray width is unusable because with a boomless nozzle, as we get further out, the, uh, the spray pattern thins. The calibrated total spray width was 40 feet. Uh, we need to times that by 0.85 because 15% of the spray width is unusable, which is gonna give us 34 feet of spray width. So at this point, it's a, it's a good idea to don your, uh, your rubber gloves and have your rubber boots on. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna catch the water 
We're going to fire the entire spray width. We're going to catch the water from the right side. We're going to measure it, and then we're going to capture the water from the left side and measure that. Okay? Got to get out of the way. So our lovely assistant Isabel is in the foreground and she's going to time this. So whenever you're ready Isabel. So the water's collected for 30 seconds. What we're going to do now We're going to measure when it was done. It was 3420 milliliters per side. So for the total spray width, we had times 3420 by 2. So with the sprayer output figured, the spray width figured, we're going to go back to our calculator now and we're going to enter the numbers. So within the calculator, we've selected boomless sprayer with two nozzles. Then we had the, remember we had the sprayer output of 6840 total spray output with a calculated spray width of 34 feet. What we're going to do now is you go and you select 15 US gallons per acre, which is the minimum uh, gallons per acre we would like on range and pasture and in industrial. And then you're going to hit calculate. When we hit calculate, we see the desired speed of 3.51 miles per hour, which is easily attainable using a quad. What a lot of folks are going to find is when they go calibrate their sprayers, it's going to spit out a number of two miles an hour or even one and a half miles an hour, which means you cannot travel that slow, which means you're going to have to change a nozzle. Now a great feature with the calculator as well is, well, what if I want to change my speed? What's my nozzle output or what's my sprayer output? So if we go down a little bit further in the calculator, we can change the speed and it'll give us a new output. Very easy. Then we can also go down further within the calculator. You can enter your tank size. So the tank size here is 30 gallons, 30 US gallons. Uh, we enter the tank size, we enter the sprayer output as calculated in the first step, and then we select our product. So if we're using Reclaim, uh, we just put Reclaim and it's going to tell you to add X amount of grams of Reclaim A. It'll tell you to add X amount of milliliters or liters of Reclaim B, and it will also tell you how much to add of the surfactant. Makes it very foolproof and very exact. So with a dual nozzle system, we previously calibrated the entire spray width using both nozzles. Now, we can also calibrate individual nozzles. On a dual system like this, um, each individual nozzle is going to increase the spray distance because the pressures will increase. So what we'll do now is we're going to run uh, the, no the right nozzle for 30 seconds and we'll see what the spray width increases to. So now with the help of my handy uh, assistant Gerald, we're going to measure the spray distance. So the total spray distance now is 24 feet rather than uh, 20 feet. So as you notice, it increased by just firing one nozzle because our pressures went up. 24 feet times 0.85 will give us 20 usable feet. So now what we'll do is we'll collect water for 30 seconds from the the one side and we should probably see an increase in uh, volume. So using the single nozzle 
the water volume increase to 4120 over 3420. So an increase of, of quite a bit. So that's why I say um, calibrate each nozzle individual if you're going to use single nozzles. So with the single nozzle, uh, we had an output of 4120 with a spray width of 20 feet. When we plug that through the calculator, what we come up with is 3.51 miles an hour, which is easily attainable. So remember, if you start with improperly calibrated equipment, you're going to end up with improper measurements and rates per acre. By using the Kretev AgriScience calculator, we can start with the proper measurements, we can add the proper amount of herbicide, and do a very good job. So if you have any questions about the sprayer calibration calculator or recommendations for products to use to fit your solutions, please contact the IVM experts or go to our website at www.corteva.ca to find your, your area expert.